Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Elder Scrolls Online Guide video with me, Sherman. Today guys, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the tank role and how you play, how you can play a tank role, uh, depending on what type of character you play, how you play your character, and everything like that. So the first thing you have to know about the tank role is this. The devs have a tool in the game called the Group Finder. In here they give you the description of their idea of a tank, a healer, and a damage dealer. The main focus of a tank is to absorb damage from enemies and prevent their allies from being attacked. That is what it says a tank is supposed to do in this game. So, looking at that, you can look this character here and you can see that I have 64 points in the health. This is to give me an increased max health pool of 29,953. Now this is going to allow me to absorb a lot more damage overall you can also see my max stamina is 25k my max magicka is 20k i'm really going to have resource the resources to play what i need to do now you're going to notice the rest of my stuff is kind of low on the spectrum but that's fine because i'm playing this character as a tank primarily the blade singer is a damage dealer but i set him up to be tank just to show you this so you can see our, our spell resist is coming in at 21,000, our physical is coming in at 20,000. When we buff with our resistance buff, we go up to 2625. This is more than enough resistances to tank probably 90% of the content. And what I mean by 90% of the content is, I mean the base game dungeons, both normal and veteran. Most of the DLC dungeons... I would say you could probably even tank on Veteran if you were a skilled enough player with this character. Um, and normal trials, and probably the Craglorn trials on Veteran. Now, Ma of Lorcaz, you might, it might take some practice, but you could probably tank that on even Veteran. But the later ones, it would take a lot of practice to do it on Veteran. But you could probably tank them on normal with this character. And there's the setup they are right now. And that's pretty much what you can do with a character in this game. See, this character is designed primarily to be a damage dealer. But I can change how they play just by going and doing different things. And I change them from a damage dealer into a tank. Now, a tank's job is to absorb damage and keep enemies off their allies. So the abilities that you're going to want to use is... One of the main abilities you're going to want to use is a taunt. Now, in ESO, we have two, three four taunts. Uh, Sword and Shield has a taunt on it on the first ability. The Destruction Staff Ice Staff, as long as you have an Ice Staff equipped and you have this passive, you can use it to tank with, and that will give you a taunt. Also, great CC weapon. Uh, that's something else that a tank does, is crowd control. That's kind of their job, is to keep the enemies off their allies. So, using abilities that do slow movement speed, things like that, and all that kind of stuff really help you and your group in that sense. So in this case, like I could use the bow ability, Acid Spray, and you can see that it does damage up front and damage over time, right? It doesn't slow the enemy, but what I can do is I can actually equip this on the back bar along with a guild ability from the Fighter's Guild called Silver Leash. And Silver Leash is going to pull the enemies to me, but it's also going to reduce their movement speed. So there's a lot of different tools that a tank can use in the game that can help them do a lot of different things in how they control the fight. Their main job is to absorb damage, keep enemies alive by keeping the enemies off their allies. So using CCs is a really great way to do that. And there is a lot of abilities you can use, like Razor Caltrops is a slow, is a, is a very weak CC, but it still works. Um, Destruction Staff, Ice Staff, if you look, uh, this one here, Frost uh, reduces the enemy movement speed and immobilizes the enemies, ch uh, chilled enemies. So this is a really good CC that you can use. But there's a lot of different abilities. Even your Heroic Slash has a CC on it, which reduces movement speed by 60%. So looking at the abilities you have available and utilizing them to do that to to control their movement to slow them down to immobilize them just to keep them off your allies is your job along with absorbing damage so the best way to do that with a tank 
is with any class, every class has a buff that boosts their resistances. In this case, for me, it's Hurricane. Now, Hurricane does physical damage. It does an, an AoE around me of physical damage, and it grows in size and in power and damage it does. But it also grants me Major Ward and Major Resolve and Minor Expedition. So it gives me increased physical and spell resistance by 5,280 and increased movement speed by 10%. But that's going to be really good. Another ability I might want to use is Bound Armaments. Now, Bound Armaments, while slotted, your max stamina is increased by 8% and your light attacks damage deal 11% more damage. But that's not why we're using it. We're using it for the Bound Armaments aspect. Bound yourself in the power of Oblivion, creating a suit of Daedric Mail that increases your block mitigation by 36% for 3 seconds. So if I activate this, even on my bow bar, I get 30% block. If I'm on my sword and shield and I activate it, because I have it on both bars, I'll get 36% block added to the 36% I already get for sword and shield. That's a 72% that's a block cost, or block mitigation that I do. Or not 36, uh, 56. So I block 56% of the incoming damage. When, as long as that's up, and I can do it even while I'm holding block. So, there's a lot of different tools, too, that you can use. Like, I can use this, Absorb Magic, or there's the other morph of it for the defensive posture, which basically, while slotted, and I have it, a shield equipped, I can reduce the amount of damage I take by 8%, and I can reduce the cost of my blocking by 8%. This just saves me resources in my stamina. I can use a shield like this, and this is going to give me a damage shield for 9,000. But it's also going to grant my group minor intellect to you and nearby allies, increasing their ma magic recovery by 10% for that time being. Now, the shield str strength of this shield is capped at 40% of my max health. Well, my max health is 29k, and I'm getting over. I'm not getting, I'm 40, I'm getting 40% 40 of it because I, of the way I have my character set up. Now, if I wanted to, I could also go into the guilds uh, on Dawned Line and get the Spike Bone Shield instead of using that one. That way I can use a, a Stamina Shield, and you can see it's a little bit bigger in size, but this one will redirect any damage I take, direct damage I take, 41% of it back to the enemy. It also gives me a shield work that's equal to 34% of my max health, and it's a synergy. So that's something I can use within my group dynamic. So there's a lot of different tools that you need to look at when playing a tank. Now there is other taunts, like I said. There's the inner rage taunt. Now this has got a, both a magic and stamina morph. If I wanted to, I could leave this character as their DPS setup and just grab this taunt and probably play most of the base game dungeons and some of the DLC dungeons on normal mode just like that because I don't need to be super tanky for normal content when I'm this powerful I just need to be have the ability to to taunt that's it because we're gonna kill things super fast if I'm playing more damage dealing than tank so I can take on the the, the representation of tank with this and still use my defensive buffs my crit surge to heal myself just playing basically playing my character as I normally would that's one of the options that you can do when playing a tank in this game now a lot of people are gonna say this <clears throat> that this kind of a tank isn't that effective so I do want to show it in action so you guys can see for yourselves and I usually show depths of Malatar for this but this time we're just gonna jump up here to Fang Lair. Fang Lair is another dungeon in the game um, that was added with the Dragon Bones DLC last year, and it's a really kind of more difficult DLC dungeon. A lot of people have trouble in here playing this content, even on normal mode. And that's because a lot of people don't understand what the tank role means. See, a tank isn't just there to do one thing. It's there to do the job. It's, it was assigned by the creators of the game, which are the developers. They made the game, we play by their rules. So I'm going to go in here. I'm just going to show you how this can work. I'm going to use my, my tripods. I'm going to use tri-food. 
and I'm just gonna go in here and uh, just pretend I'm a tank. I'm doing this to absorb damage, like I said. I put it up right where she she died. I'm just gonna cut him down. But as you can see, like I survived that pretty easily. Now this isn't gonna be a tank that you're gonna be like amazing with. Like I said, it's a tank that'll get you through the content, and that's it. Now if your character's primary role is to be a tank, you're gonna be a more effective tank than this person is. But this person can still tank if needed. And that's kind of the point of ESO, is ESO's design allows this kind of play. Because you can just sit here and do this to tank content. And a lot of people, like I said, will say that this is a bad idea. But you know what? It's not up to anybody else to decide how you play your character besides yourself. So that's all I'm showing you. And like I said, this is more of a roleplay perspective kind of play than it is a meta play. And you do have to understand that. Meta is going to play a lot different than this. This is just one way that you can play the game. So... And I haven't even just used my first potion. And that's because this guy's uh, a lot harder to kill because he's a deathmonger. So he, if you see his health is over 130,000. So this is like, not a mini boss, but it is a, a more difficult enemy. So this is the first boss encounter in here. Yeah, you can't hold the big bone goliaths because, or bone colossus because of the fact that they are considered elite mobs. <laughs> I saw him getting ready to do that. That's why I popped that ability uh, the way I did. And you can see I'm also running low on stamina, but every time I heavy attack with this build, because I'm using the Absorb Stamina enchant, I actually get uh, not a lot of resources back, but it does help you sustain your resources. So, 
And <clears throat> I know how to play this character because I play this way online. So I don't play this exact way because I don't have this setup, but I do play something similar um, with my with my sort character. And my sort character is going to be changing to this pretty soon, so. But I'm going to go ahead and let these guys kill me. <clears throat> I'm just using, like I said, this is just me showing you the tools of the game and how you can utilize it. All right, we're going to go back to Way Shrine and finish this up. So that's pretty much what a tank roll in this game looks like. It's somebody that's set up to absorb damage, keep enemies off their allies, and to do the job of a tank. And anyone can do this. You can do this in light armor, you can do this in heavy armor, you can do it in medium armor. See, this is medium armor. All, one heavy helm, medium or light shoulders, everything else medium. And you guys can see for yourselves, this is what I'm using to tank with. This character's primary design is to be a damage dealer, not a tank. But it doesn't mean that you can't set up for it. Like I said, you can do this with a healer. You can do this with whatever you want as long as you use the right tools for the job. You can take on any role with any character. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it was very informative and helpful. If it was, you guys know what's coming next. You can go ahead and hit that like button. If you guys want to see more videos by me, you can subscribe. Other than that, I want to thank you all for watching. Until next time, have a wonderful day. And this guy might see you in game. Bye.